In the past few videos, we've been looking at defining sine and cos. We started off with defining them with a right angle triangle, and then we started defining them as points on the unit circle. The first point that we defined on the unit circle was a point that's pi on three radians around the circle. The x coordinate of this point was cos of pi on three, and that's equal to one half. The second point was sine pi on three, and that's equal to root three on two. When we moved to the second quadrant, we had an angle of 2 pi on 3 for our point. The x coordinate of this point was cos 2 pi on 3, and that was equal to minus 1 half. I've coloured that in orange there, just to make it really clear that it's negative. The y value for that point was sine 2 pi on 3, and that's equal to root 3 on 2. Now what I'll do is I'll bring up two more unit circle diagrams for the third and fourth quadrant. And what I'd like you to do is just take a few moments, pause the video, and I want you to write in what you think the x and the y coordinate are for each point in absolute terms. So the x coordinate will either be plus or minus a half, and the y coordinate will be plus or minus root three on two. And I also want you to write what the x and y coordinates are in terms of cos and sine. And when you're finished with that, Restart the video and we'll write them in. Okay, welcome back. Now the x coordinate of this point here, we can write that as cos of the angle, which is 4 pi on 3. The x coordinate in absolute terms is either plus or minus one half. The x position of this point is to the left of the y axis, so we're in negative x territory. So we can write the x coordinate as minus one on two. The y coordinate in terms of sine is the sine of four pi on three. and we can write that as minus root three on two. In the fourth quadrant, we have an angle of five pi on three radians. So the X and Y coordinates in terms of cos and sine are cos five pi on three and sine five pi on three. And if we write them in absolute terms, the x coordinate is plus one half because we're on the right hand side of the y axis. And the y coordinate is minus root three on two because we're below the x axis. So minus root three on two. The main points to take away from this but firstly, that we can write any point on the unit circle in terms of its x coordinate, cos theta, and its y coordinate, sine theta. So x equals cos theta and y equals sine theta, where theta is the angle at which the point is located on the circle. And lastly, for sine and cos, in the first quadrant, sine is positive and cos is positive. In the second quadrant, sine, this root three on two here is positive, and cos, this minus one half here, is negative. In the third quadrant, cos is negative, and sine is negative as well. When we go to the fourth quadrant, cos has become positive, but sine remains negative. So I'll just fill that out in our, in our table here. So sine is positive in the first and second quadrants and becomes negative in third and fourth. Cos is positive in the first, negative in two and three, and in quadrant four, it returns to being positive again. So that concludes this series of videos on defining sine and cos using the unit circle.